And the All Progressive Congress has described as baseless uh, the accusation of partisanship with the People's Democratic Party has leveled against both the Nigerian police and the Independent National Electoral Commission head of the 2019 elections. The APC National Publicity Secretary Larry Issa Onilu, uh, who dismissed the allegation at a press conference in Abuja, said the main opposition party is crying wolf. A correspondent, Basilo Kafo, has details in this report. The main opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, had earlier hit hard on the Nigerian police and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, accusing the agencies of scheming to help the ruling All Progressive Congress win the 2019 general elections. But at this press conference, the spokesman of APC insisted that the ruling party has no need to rig an election it is primed to win, saying that PDP is crying wolf where there is none. By attacking INEC and PDP, it is a defeatist approach. PDP is creating an alibi such that after election, which they are going to lose because nothing on ground suggests that Nigerians have forgiven them and they have not shown any evidence of remorse, neither have they shown any evidence that have turned a new leaf. It's still the same PDP, same attitude, same havaris. Same precarious approach to national life. The ruling party alleges that the opposition campaign has collapsed and that PDP cannot campaign on issues ahead of the coming elections due to its bad governance in the past. Asked to explain the sudden rise of insurgent activities in the Northeast and killings across the country, despite the party's claim to have decimated Boko Haram, the APC spokesman admitted that there had been a setback in the war against insurgency. Uh, a country like the United States of America is engaging with terrorists. They do have state setbacks. And it takes time to uh, finally um, get rid of the, uh, the um, insurgents anywhere, including Boko Haram. So that cannot in any way Take away the credit that is due to our armed forces. The ruling party also admitted that 2018 was a tough one, noting that the party had to confront some of its members who joined the party during the merger in 2014, but later turned themselves a stumbling block for APC government. Basil Okafor, Court TV News, Abuja.